question um, based on the SHSAT, oops, logical question, logical reasoning question. It's number 20 on the test. It's part of your verbal section of the test, and this one's a pretty straightforward question, and we'll work our way through it. So let me write that out, logical reasoning. And I think that you'll see that the trick to these type of problems is to really only use the information you're given to make a conclusion. Don't think outside of this information. You only know these things. So here we only know if the moon is full. So here's the moon. If it's full, it's fully showing, my dog will bark. So if we have a full moon, then the dog, here's my dog, roof, roof will bark. Okay, great. The other way the dog will bark is if, is if the dog sees a cat. So here's our little cat. Meow. If the dog sees a cat, then the dog will, will bark. So you, you want to think, well, are there other ways this dog will bark? Yeah, probably there are. But we only know of these two ways. So in this problem, there are only two things in the world that can cause this dog to bark. The moon being full, and if the dog sees this cat. So here we have to figure out which of these have to be true based on this information. So F says, if my dog barks, barks, it has seen a cat and the moon is full. The key word here is end. Well, it could be that the moon is full and the cat has seen a cat and the dog's going to be barking a lot. But it, if the dog is barking, we don't know if it saw a cat or if the moon is full. Either one could have caused the dark to bark, dog to bark. So we don't know that both of them are true. It could be, but one of them, only one of them has to be true. So F is out. If my dog barks, it has seen a cat. Well, that's not necessarily true because the moon could be full. If the moon's full, the dog could be barking. Right? You hear the dog barking, and it could be from the moon. We don't know if it came from a cat, so we don't know if that's true. If my dog doesn't bark, it has not seen a cat, and the moon isn't full. So again, that's true. Because in this universe, the only two things that cause the dog to bark are the full moon and the cat. So, so if the dog's not barking, there can't be a full moon or a cat, right? That's because if they were there, those things would cause the dog to bark. So H is true, but let's look at the other choices. If the moon is not full, my dog won't bark. Well, that's not true either. Why? Because if the moon was not full, but the dog saw the cat, then the dog would bark. And then last, if the moon is full, my dog will see a cat. Well, that this is a completely different connection. We don't know anything about that. The moon is full, the dog will bark. It might then later see a cat and bark again. But the moon being full does not lead to the cat. Uh, we would only it could. You would say, well, doesn't that doesn't full moon bring out a cat or something? Well, maybe, but we don't know any of that because we're only told about the moon causing the dog to bark and the cat causing the dog to bark. We're not here looking at what may be true, but what must be true based on the information. So K is not true as well. All right, thanks.